All right, well, that's my anime done. 16 hours of that. God, it's so dark and dingy in here. I guess, God, I don't like it. It's just so... We need lights or something. More than that, it's just... Ugh, awful. So dark. This whole place is kind of dark and depressing, actually. Even though there's so much neon, it's soulless, like New Vegas. New Vegas? Las Vegas. I play too much games. I want to go see Solar. And talk about Jack. I haven't met him yet. We're going to do that. Hey, Twink, how's it going? I don't know, sh How's it going? Uh, it's going well. So, why not make it in the interview with you, huh? 73 questions with Solar. Everyone wants it. I'll pass. It's... You're contractually obligated to Unless do that. Unless you alter the contract and addendum with another lawyer, yeah? Okay, well, I just want to say I, it, it would be great if you did it. It'd be fun. And, uh, got a nice box set. Sure, just sign this contract of mine and then I'll do it. I'm not doing that until I read it over first. Really? So, I'm not Monty. I didn't force you to admit. I, I, if you're going to be mad at somebody, be, be, be mad at Monty for making something before. I, 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 nothing to do with me. Anyway, seriously, though, um, any news about, uh, that facility? Nope. There's a bag of chips for you. That'll be $39.99. Yeah, I'm not, I don't eat chips. Sorry, I'm on keto. You're on keto, but you don't eat chips, all right? Yeah, they're, they're carbs, dummy. All right. Hmm. Suspicious character. Yeah, they meant. So this is Jack. Yep. This is, Should I this eliminate? Is, no, don't eliminate him. Yeah. Understood. What all about Jack? Uh, he's a fan favorite, apparently. Did you know that? I really don't care about him being a fan favorite. Bruh. Not, not, not really a secret thing anymore. So, uh... Right now. Turning to the darkness. That's not a dark corner, buddy. That's just a... Trash can and a tape. Darkness. I love him. He's going to do that for a bit, I'll be honest with you. He's going to just be doing that for the entire time we're talking. I just wanted to meet the guy. He seems... Darkness. Centric? You know, if you ignore him enough, he'll just kind of go away. I don't want to ignore him, though. He's kind of cool. Seriously. He's, he I seems seek attention. So what's the purpose of... Hey, Jack. Is he's he in the back. You over there in the... Yeah, he's in the back. Yes. Right there. Jack, look. See this? Hey, 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 look at that. It's Crinkly dark. Crinkly bag. Crinkly darkness. Yeah. Yeah, dog? Practically. A golden retriever? Or something? <sighs> he's really going after that bag, huh? Wow, it's pretty impressive. He thinks that that bag might be dangerous right now. Eliminating! He's destroying the bag. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I see that. So, uh, what's his purpose exactly? Protect Lunar. Does he need that? Does Lunar need that? Let's be honest for just a second. Just eliminated. Good job. It's still over there, buddy. Get back to it. It's still there on the floor. You see, you see it? Yeah. Darkness. Does he need protection? Let's Lunar. be totally honest yeah. for a second here. Yes, he does. When he can barely control well, his powers to begin with, I'd say he would need protection. Jack doesn't really offer much in that regard, I feel like. You haven't seen him in action yet. I see him in action. What does he have to attack besides a plastic bag on the floor? What do you, What else do you want, Jack? I can, I can. Eliminate it. Good job. He's gone. Yeah, wow. Great job, Jack. Good job. <sighs> I am being patronized. No, you're not. Look at that, another one. Darkness. Look, he hasn't done anything because there's nothing for him to attack yet. Right, I'm just I'm just putting it out there that maybe Lunar isn't in danger. Maybe he is the danger, Skylar. Lunar is not the danger, believe me. Lunar is the danger. He pasted the clips all over the floor of the daycare. Like and the straight reason Jack didn't intervene is because Eclipse was not seen as a threat. Don't you think that's a problem? Eclipse showed no hostile intentions. His inability to attack rendered him ineffective. So, again, do you really think... Do I need to reiterate this? Yes. 
I was thinking like maybe like what if you just sent him to go watch FC after we get him back? You want him to watch FC? After we get him back? Just a little bit? I'm afraid I'm not going to do that. Okay, well. Once you get that facility and we figure out some stuff, we're going to get him back, so it's no big deal, I guess. Take a second, Jack. <sighs> All right, look. I'm not going to sit here and doubt Jack's abilities to protect Lunar or FC or whatever the hell we sick him on at this point. He can do it like it's like, like it's space. The only thing is, is that Lunar is going to be targeted, too. I can't have him in two places at once. Make a second jack. A second jack? One's not enough for you? Yes. No, we need two. Perhaps more, actually. I'll pass on having duplicate jacks. Are you sure? Yeah, right now he's staring off into the distance, just kind of wandering around. You see that? You see? Look in his eyes. What do you think is going on in his head? You can listen very carefully, you'll hear it. Cow, 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 cow. That's terrifying. That's no so, so, solar. What did you make? I made a protector bot. Its sole objective is to protect Lunar. Was it also Moon who helped me do this? Because Moon gave me some designs and uh, things to put into him. Okay. Well, if you hear from the facility or get information about this, we have to get him back Let's sooner back. than later. So. What, what, what about this, this facility thing? You know, the one where. Range Dimension has the same thing, but right, not quite. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out, to be honest with you. Right, okay. Um, there he goes. He's going to mess with the TV again. Okay. He puts on the SpongeBob. What's on SpongeBob? Yep, only the newer seasons. Not even the good ones. Interesting. Yeah, we're getting an FC back. Just end of story. I don't so I need your help. I am very well aware that we're going to get FC back. And uh, when we get him back, uh, help me out protecting him because obviously he, he needs it. We can't have Blood Moon walking okay. in the daycare like that. Okay, okay. Watch this. You saw how he went from over there, Jack, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I've also built in a very special uh, countermeasure for him to get from place to place really quickly. So if I so ask right now, he'll probably appear behind me if I ask him to. Okay. So, are you going to ask him to? Hey, Jack, can you get over here behind me so you can surprise Puppet with your speed or some crap like that? Hello. Hey, Jack. What? Okay, that that's it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I am going to watch SpongeBob. Oh, man, the newer seasons. He's a, he's a literal kid. You realize that, right? He's more like a dog, a very obedient dog. Aren't dogs just like kids at that point? Depends on what the type of dog you make. Border Collie. I'd say he's more like a Labradoodle. Labradoodle? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's about accurate. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I gotta go check on Monty. No one else is doing it right so now. You don't pet Earth. The dog? It doesn't bite. All it wants to kill. Don't bite. Your dog don't bite? You sure yeah. about that? I do not bite! He invisible right now? Yeah, probably. Just hear me? Jack! Come on out, buddy. I'll be honest with you, by the way. He was probably mm -hmm. around during the whole eclipse event when Lunar pasted him across the wall. Yeah. He's next yeah, to you, by you the way. A measure where he like, tries to like talk him down when he gets... Hello! Hi. Look I at you. SpongeBob. Look at you. Head pet. Head pet. Head pet. Initiating knife fingers. He does not like the head pets. Why why'd you just No reason. All of my weapons are in my hands. That's not a good thing. There's like is there like a is there a we don't have him around kids. Does he have redundancies to like if he like loses an arm or something? Does he like have like other options? A boy replaces his arm. My body is made to be a weapon. Can he bite? Bite puppet. No, please don't. That's disgusting. Biting. Biting. No, no, no. Jack. 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 <laughs> okay, wait. Wait. Hang on. Ah. Heal. He's just, he's just gnawing like a. All right. 
Anything else you need? You made pop a Florida in? guy on bath salts. It's, it's all you made. It's a Florida guy on bath salts. Not a Florida guy. You hear what he was just doing? Wait, what is that? Well, I Mr. didn't give Krabs. him. Crabs. <laughs> what? Huh? Mr. Krabs. I'm just gonna get out of here. So I'll see you around, bud. If you want something to protect FC when he gets back, I'm gonna ask you and Moon. I was suggesting you could go ahead and get. I was gonna go ahead and suggest that I could give somebody some upgrades. Who? You are Monty. Uh, I don't need upgrades, but you don't need upgrades. I don't need upgrades. Trust me. How about me. Foxy <laughs> then? That man could use some actual upgrades if he if he wants them. Yeah, by all means. Uh, I'll, he, that has to be his decision, though. But we'll see. All right. Anyway, we'll get him back. Just get your anorexic body out of here. Yep. Let's go see Monty, I guess. Hmm. Let's check his fridge real quick. Thing in the he lock his fridge. He lock his. Let's give me this. Bash me with this thing. How dare you lock his fridge? I'm hungry. Boo. You tried to bash my skull with a fire hydrant. I was you 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 locked your fridge. Who the hell does that? What do you mean who does it? I do! Why? Why? Why do I lock my fridge? Yes. Please don't get so close. You're rich, you know. Why do I lock my fridge from you? Yes. After all, I am helping you with channel free of charge, by all the right, way. All right, here, here's the, the deal. Here's the deal, right? You wonder why I like that damn fridge? Because mm -hmm. it's cooking's amazing. Mm -hmm. I would sh if I could. You would what? I would shove that if I could. No one's taking that from me. Okay. So can I try it? No. Great. So I get no pay and no food. You don't even eat. When did you start eating? I think, I think vegan. I got a fire extinguisher upstairs. That's not vegan. Mm -hmm. Probably vegan. Yeah, whatever. No, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, channel. What great about thumbnail artist we've had recently. You notice that? Yep. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing stuff. Pretty cool guy. Yeah, they're 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 pretty great. They're pretty great. Oh yeah, yeah, they're pretty great. Yeah, pretty cool. Art. So, can I why talk are about you here to quick? bum my food? By the way, I'm not here to bum. Yes, food, you are. You um, just came in. I'm not trying I'm to get in my here, fridge. To I'm take actually some food. here to talk. I'm actually here to talk about something with you a little bit. Okay, so obviously, hey, where are you going, Monty? This is serious. Yep. Please. I know. All right, let's go. Drinks. Okay. Can I share something with you? What is there to share, dear puppet? Okay. I haven't been totally truthful with you about everything. Well, that ain't a shocker. Obviously. Yeah, no. Um, Earth already knows. By the way, I told her already in therapy. Uh -huh. I'm not here to bum food. Um, I'm here to check on you, actually. How's your arm? Oh, my arm? I haven't felt it for a month. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Um, I'm here to check on that, make sure it's okay, but also to give you a little bit more information as to why I'm concerned. Buddy, I'm feeling great. I'm going to need this. Yeah, I'm going to need this just real quick. Just that is pure vodka. Are you sure you want to just straight up? All right. Yep. Okay, listen. It's like a $30 glass right there. Yeah, I know. Listen, I, you already asked me at girls night. Remember that? Uh-huh. Different dimension. I said, yes. I kind of avoided the question, didn't I? You didn't even really answer it. Okay. I am from a different dimension. Mm. I arrived here a couple decades ago because my dimension collapsed. Nice. Not just because of it's it's because of a lot of different things that happened basically people abused things that shouldn't have been abused in the first place things like magic teleportation dimensional hopping etc and as a result outside exterior forces consumed it does that make sense uh -huh. 
Go on. I... This is going to sound absolutely wild. First person I met here was Golden Freddy. I can see that. I've known Golden. I've known Golden for a long time. Okay. Right. Golden taught me a lot of different things. If I had had Golden in my previous dimension, I would have been able to stop things or know more things. I had the ability to do a bunch of magical things. I kind of gave it up because I didn't want to be the bearer of responsibility. And besides, we have Golden, so it's fine. What's different about this, though, the Golden and I... Oh God. Um, uh... Sh what? You too f No. It's not how... No, no we're, we're animatronics, dummy. Well, no, I mean, explain um, that to Freddy and Chica because they, 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 they popped out a kid after they and then, and then the Do I need to explain how Speaking of Freddy, I'm his mom. Explains a lot. Doesn't it? It explains Anime. so much. Doesn't it? Remember the Game of Life 2 recording? Where'd you go? Come back here. Uh, my god. My god, that explains so much of his sheer stupidity. He's not stupid. It's sheer Number one, you know that. No, no, okay, listen, Monty, take this seriously. How he's able okay. to take it up that so well. Just, you know. He doesn't know I'm his mom. Jesus Christ, what is this, like, soap opera drama I'm hearing right now? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's kind of my life right now. I'm concerned about things right now, Monty, because... A lot of stuff's going on here, and I can't quite stop it from happening. I've talked to Golden about it a little bit, but, uh, I don't know. No, wait. I don't know. We gotta somehow corral things a bit better. Corral. Does Maybe that make sense? Things. I'm not a, look, we, we... Your arm has to. I'm looking into that. I'm trying to get it fixed for you. I, I don't. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet, though. I haven't figured it out. I haven't asked Golden about it, but he doesn't know either. I think, and I, I we're, we're we're working on it. Okay, you just, know, just know that. You would think like the fact that I can't feel the entire left side of my arm would affect my uh, gaming performance. It really doesn't. Yeah, no. Just listen. I don't know why I'm. I I, I came here just to hang out with you and check on you and stuff. But I want to. Just let you know. No, no. Um, why also, are you telling me all this in the first place? Because I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to, to to figure stuff out and not pace back and forth in your backyard Maybe and get everything out in the open. I very actually, considering that Frank is my granddaughter, and I like the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> truth isn't a good thing. Obviously, FC being gone isn't great. Foxy becoming what he is now is less than ideal, but it gives me hope that you fixed the cringe dimensions problems because that meant at the end of the day, we can fix our problems. No, 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 man. The only, the only way you can fix the cringe dimension is if you blow it into the other rings with a nuke or something. You were, you, you were just there and you, and you just saved it. I'm saying we should destroy that world. We're not going to because it's, it's useful. Didn't you just I told you it's the most similar to ours canonically with like events and stuff. You realize that, right? I am not okay. First off, I'm I'm over there walking around like I got like I got a stick up my ass, and then suddenly it's just like, oh, this is the most sim canonically similar thing to our own world. Oh, except Sun's it a is. human who's also it cringe, is. and Moon's a human who's also cringe, and Earth's a cringe monster over there. Except he's bigger. Abstract it out a little bit, right? Foxy's son was taken by. A bad robot oh, named yeah. Al Foxy's G Rhythm. Foxy's and Foxy's son, son yep. yes, was like a doge, buff doge thing, but he was there, obviously. And obviously, I was their version of Solar because I was just up there in the theater. But but listen, I the point being, Monty, is that it, it's it's hopeful because we can fix this problem if we get Foxy's son back. He'll be happier. Doesn't make sense right now because Foxy hits it, but he talked to you, right? Didn't he talk to you? Not really, but we talked. He said to get his son back, right? If he heard, if you heard anything, just to, just to let him know. I heard anything to tell him, yeah. Well, we know something now, right? He's still alive. He's in the Stitch Face Lair. 
Yeah, but we don't know where that layer really is. And but it's similar, right? Just because you had a general idea does not know where we know where it is. I have solar working on it. So there's that. That's helpful, right? My point is, Monty, with all that's going on, I wanted to make sure that you knew everything. That I know that we're on the same page. Okay? We can't be going around every dimension and just killing things and wiping them out and stuff like that and trying to get revenge. We have to do this carefully. You mean to tell me you don't want me to kill your version of the cringe dimension puppet? No, that was literally me. You, That was literally me. Uh, I, they sure. don't have a puppet. That, that, that was literally me. Sure, sure. I go there because of this. I told you this. They have amazing anime. Uh, slice of life anime. It's some of the best stuff out there anywhere. Yeah, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet they have like another spy family thing, except it doesn't have a bunch of in it, right? Yeah. They do. It's actually one of the best dimensions for slice of life anime. Akira Toriyama, rest in peace. Don't talk about him right now. Yeah, rest in peace. God damn it. Over there in that dimension, Dragon Ball wasn't a shonen. It was slice of life. You're earning this for me. No. It was, it was amazing, Monty. It was amazing. Anyway, the point is, I want to let you know this because I'm going to tell Freddy soon. I'm not sure how or when. That you're his mom? Yeah. And I don't know how to do it. Um, Dude, I don't know how well that's going to go over for you. I mean, you, 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 you made him disappeared for like, what? I, 20 years 20 yeah some odd and look look i i don't want to miss the opportunity what if we can't in two months what if that's no longer a possibility what if i'm gone or he's gone or someone else is gone <sighs> i'm here to i'm i'm giving you everything about me here by the way that's about it really i figured i figured so, you're coming up to mention i figured you had some relations with golden freddy didn't think about that other stuff but in hindsight, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? Yeah, in order of family of five, we'll do that, I guess. It's not. Never. Okay. Let's not bring that part up. You know, that happened in both dimensions here and the cringe dimension. It happened in both places. God, had to make sure it happened twice, didn't you? I didn't. I again, it's it was a setup. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it was a setup. I don't know by who or what, but it was a setup. Ugh. But seriously, that's that. Okay. I, it's scary, man. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to be a parent, but I met Francine. She's great, and I think she knows she's so smart. <sighs> That's terrifying. She's a terrifying little girl. I'm gonna tell you that much. Yeah, <laughs> she'll she'll get better. Trust me. She'll she'll. No, she ain't. She's gonna use that to her advantage. She has great potential. Amazing potential. I'm a godfather. I I know that. Thank you for that, by the way. I'm going to teach her so many things. Please, anybody so many but horrible you. Things. Anybody but you, actually. I'm going to teach her business marketing strategies. I don't think she should learn from you at all. Maybe your sister, Millie, would be way She's better. She's a lawyer. Exactly. How the hell would she be better than me at business marketing strategies? I've made over $10 this month alone from Monty Gator Golf. Bruh. Francine Fazbear, a lawyer, like Saul Goodman, but better. She uses magic. Yeah, and she no, doesn't. Listen, I. Mm hmm. That's the whole plot. Better call Saul. Yeah, that's 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 correct. Yep. Like, I'm just saying, I'm scared. I don't know. If you have any advice about that, let me know. I should probably get going. I have to. Well, I'm gonna be okay, late. All right, all right, I have look, to go. Uh, I'm gonna be late. What? Be real with you, right? Mm hmm. My dad wasn't in my life a lot. He's always off. Like doing some concert or something crap some crap like that yeah so i'm gonna be real real with you he's gonna yell he's gonna scream he's gonna be real angry that's what i'm worried about what if he's mad at golden i'm gonna be mad that relationship is what i don't know but is is he that kind of guy to get mad like that though depends i don't know freddy too much like like i i, I don't know i don't know when I, my dad would ever come back i would just get angry because you know he was gone for months and mom would ever get Worse. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I, I just. You're trying, Dale. That's a lot more than what a lot of other people can say. 
I, I have to, the, the, the time is... I have to get going. You gotta respect what he says, though. I, I know. If he wants to be I with you, get going. great. If he doesn't, I would not force him. I'm not going to. I have to go because I'm going to be late for something. Uh, I think it's going to it, okay? Uh, uh, you seriously drank $30 worth of vodka? Yes. I have to go. Seriously. Goodbye. All right. Whatever. See you, man. Be back later or something. Just let me know um, what we're doing for stuff. For the, the channel? Yeah. Yeah. The channel. I'm going to get some guns ready. Why? No reason. Okay. Just thank God. All right. All right. I have to run here. Deep All best. right, Francine, you ready to go home? Yeah. All right. Oh, Let's hey, go home hey and guys. How's it going? Oh, uh, hey, hey. Weird seeing you here. Hi, Francie. How you doing? Hi. How you doing, sweetie? Hi. Hi. Doing good. Watch anime recently? Watch more. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. How's it going, Freddy? Doing good. I just came to pick up Francine because it's. It's our time to go home so we can go get some food in her and get a maybe watch some bluey at home or something together. Yeah, yeah. I know that the daycare's almost closed now and whatnot, so uh yeah. Yeah, Do you like Sun and Moon would uh Sun and Moon would flip their lids if we ever were late. Yeah. You like Bluey a lot? Yeah. Like watching it? Yeah. yeah. Lots of kids do now, huh? Lots of kids do now. Uh, yeah, that's a good. I actually like watching it with her because it's like actually does get good moral messages and all that. Yeah, it's not a bad show actually. It's good for parenting and kids watch together. Muffin. You like muffin. And her favorite is muffin. Yeah, yeah that's that kind of figures. Uh, well, uh, if you want to, we can hang out later for anime night or something. Is, is that like next next? Uh, when is it again? It's just uh, every Sunday or so. All right, I can my. Stop by again. We can watch something cool. Uh, yeah, you like sure. And watch some yeah. more shows. Cool. Yeah. Great. Although we're running out of animes that are not bloody for uh, certain right. reasons. Uh, uh, let me think. Uh, let me think for a second. Uh, um, uh, huh? what is it? My love story. We're gonna be watching a lot of rom coms, aren't we? You could do Love Is War. It's a bit of a different one. But it's nothing Gorilla. like it's bad. It's kind of funny, actually. Gorilla. It's pretty good, too. Gorilla? My love story. Gorilla. It's uh -huh. She saw an episode of it and saw the guy, and she likes it a lot. You know, I, I have been so busy, I haven't even watched that one yet. I would be down to watch it. It's For funny. sure. That sounds great. I love watching animes and stuff. Um. Anyway, uh, I think you're probably going to be pretty busy, right? So I... <laughs> Probably let you guys get get uh, going and then uh, uh, hey, you have a good day and all that and uh, be good and uh, I'll be in touch. See you, Francine. Hi, boy. Right. boy. See ya. See ya, Puppet. Uh, come on, Francine. Boy. Ooh, if we, you know what? If we get a, uh, if we get home fast enough, maybe we can sneak you a popsicle. Yay. <sighs> well, that oh, was awkward. What? The... what? You know what? You know that's fair. That's totally fair. Valid. I do the same thing. You used to do the same thing, actually. Yeah, good seeing you. So, um, yeah. Uh, what? It's, it's what my love language. That? that was. I literally do that. That's my love language. You didn't know that by now. I always jump scared you. Every no, day. no, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the awkwardness that was you trying to talk to Freddy. I I had to run from Monty's house all the way here because I was gonna miss it. I am dying. Yeah, how many times have you done this already? Three, maybe four times. Seventeen days in a row. Uh huh. So uh. Yep. The fact that he hasn't said anything about that. Yeah. I can't keep it up anymore. Oh, do you think it's time? I don't know. I don't want to cause any problems between you and him. Look. Me and him are always going to have problems because, guess what? I have to keep an eye on this world, and that's not always going to align with everything that he agrees with. Yeah, I told Earth in therapy about it. Have a seat. All right. And I told Monty today as well about everything, so he knows. Oh, how did he take it? Like Monty, just kind of like, oh, really? Wow, great, cool type thing. Just doesn't really care doesn't really care about it at all but was like that explains a lot about freddy and me actually 
So it's not wrong. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we always, they always wondered how how he has so much magical potential without ever getting proper training. Yep. Turns out I also told him, like, you know, I'm from a different dimension. He asked that during girls night. You tell him the truth? They asked. They asked. They asked. It was a truth or dare. And Monty, she at the time, asked um, if I was from a different dimension. I was like, yes, I was from a different dimension. And uh, that was about it. So they, they knew that for a while. But I told them the full thing today because... Are they going currently she or he right now? Or they? Depends on the day. Do you know which one it is today? He? Just use they. It's probably just fine as it is, honestly. All right, they. Well, they seem to uh, deal with a lot of it, especially from the sun and moon side. Speaking of dealing with a lot of it, can I ask you some questions? I have, I'm kind of curious. I got some rumors. I, I want to kind of, I don't want to accuse you of anything, Goldie. You already did. So what's another one? Okay. You and your choice of dating partner. Oh, this topic. After right. me. Did you this... really see anybody? A few people, but they never really stacked You count up. the pumpkin in that? And the door? Mm. I'm just curious where I stand up in this ranking list here, because I'm kind of <laughs> curious. Well... Tell me, did you seriously rebound from me with a pumpkin? Okay, okay. You want me to be honest? Yeah. That was another lie. Yeah, I kind of figured it was. I, 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 I didn't I wanted think you to mess with Sun so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did see? You didn't date a pumpkin, right? No, pumpkin girl. Yes. Pumpkin girl, huh? Who is she? Uh, twelfth dimension. She was kind of lost for a little while, so I had to help her out. But kind of dated for a little bit afterwards because I was her hero, but it didn't work out. Good. So speaking of good. Um, how can we tell Freddy about this? Can you set it up or something? I don't know how to do that because, um... Don't you have his number? I do, but I don't think I should be the one that asks him to meet somewhere with you. <sighs> it's a all serious right, right. topic. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, it's just the whole thing. And maybe we shouldn't have Francie in there either, just so we can have just us three for now. All right, well... I don't know. It's up to you if you want her there or not. But it, it might help. He won't get mad, right? He'll get mad. Why wouldn't he get mad? That, that, that wouldn't make any sense if he didn't get mad. Huh. Uh, the thing about uh, Freddy. What? Nothing. What? Just, just, uh. Look, the thing about Freddy is he can get upset and he might. I mean, he has every right to, actually. You asked me to put those memories in him and I obliged. I didn't even object at the time. I was so angry with you that I had replaced you with a false mother. What little memories he did have of you were replaced. I think that's going to cause some issues. Can you undo that? Right now, it would be confusing for him. I think we need to tell him the truth first and then undo it. Yeah. By the way, yeah? I learned something recently. I've been using it to our advantage. And what's that? You might have noticed it. We went to a different dimension recently. Didn't we ban dimensional travel? Yes, and so here's how it works. You know how ours is the main pillar, kind of like this dimension. One of the ours. main pillars, yes. Uh, it's not my home, but this dimension is one of the main pillars of stuff. Yeah. There is a dimension that is remarkably different from this one, but. Canonically speaking, many of the events happen in the same way in a weird, dark mirror-esque type. Hmm. It might be one of those, then. So, I sent Monty there because FC was taken. You know FC? Yeah. The little, the little, uh, fox child. He tried to, he tried to stab me with a crayon. Point being, when we went there, I sent Monty there for a reason. Number one, there Monty's missing. He's in this world somewhere. Can you find him for us? He has to go back. It's a problem. Hmm. I sent our Maki there to right some wrongs and balance some stuff. You may have noticed that happening. I don't know if you did or not. Um, point being, when we did that, we found out that it's just, it's not just similar in certain, it's a genuine mirror that can be used to help us discover things. Like, for instance, they had a version of the Stitch Wraith 
That wasn't the Stitchwraith at all. Was it the one that I was told that was killed? No, 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 no. This is different. This is the cringe dimension. Can you believe oh. that? Can you believe that? Why is it called that? It's cringe. They even self-admit that they're cringe, which makes them even cringier. None in the medicine's just that. No, literally, they don't have star power there. Or magic. Really? In that world, you might you might be the strongest, actually. I'm joking. No, um, the cringiest people there are the most powerful ones. So cringe power. Cringe power. It's not something we have here, as far as I can tell. We are pretty cringe, though, huh? But point being is... Yeah, you're cringe. Uh, yeah, you're cringe, too, bud. Their version of this ditch race was called Al G Rhythm. He took FC. We got him back. Why did he take him? Okay, so that FC was also working with that Stitch Wraith. He spread lies about their Foxy, who lifts weights exclusively and isn't very cringe, but is still cringe by just being Foxy. Lift weights exclusively, had a very toned body. You were staring, weren't you? Yeah, but besides that, he wasn't mechanical. Bio-organic? He's fully organic. He lifts weights and gets muscles and stuff, right? That Foxy, there was a rumor spread about him that he was on steroids. And that's where the cringe came from. It ruined his reputation. You know what happened recently in our dimension? Foxy's reputation. That was spread, painting him as a terrible person and a, and a horrible father. And FC was just taken recently again by Blood Moon, right? Yeah. Now... When, when our Monty went there to deal with him, he punched that guy in the face. Algae Rhythm, we can't do that here. But when he punched him, apparently a K-pop chip got damaged. They don't do violence over there, apparently. They do K-pop dances. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, huh. Goldie. I, I, it's, it's wild to me. It's magical. It's incredible. Every so often to work there. and Didn't we say... No interdimensional travel. Yes, but I, I have a, I'm, I'm anchored there as well. Want to see? Look, look at me. This is the cringe me. Yeah. Eh, you don't look that cringy. I'm, I. <laughs> the point being, was, that well, at the end of it, when he punched that that algae rhythm robot in the face, it broke the K-pop chip. He couldn't fight back and they had to leave, but they got FC back, and it made Foxy come back, and everyone realized that he wasn't a terrible father. So, you're saying that if you get rid of- if you do something similar here, the results might be the same? We have to go about it a different way. I think if we somehow beat Stitchwraith without violence, we have to do something else. Because there, they don't use violence, right? And Monty used violence to- break him then you have to talk to stitch right down here then somehow some way we have to have him give up fc give him back and get him back home and give up his vendetta against foxy exactly now <sighs> i don't want to put all our marbles in one cringe shaped basket here but that's our best bet in my opinion if it is it's a long shot it's a very long shot Speaking of long shots, please get a meeting ready for me and Freddy because I don't know what's going to happen with this whole Stitch Ray thing. I don't and you want him to know the truth, just before, in case. Before, in case something happens. So, that'd be great. If you could do that for me. All right. It'd mean a whole lot, Goldie. I'll set it up, but everything that happens after that will be on you. All right. I'll have, to have, I'll have my own demons to deal with him on that. I got one more on me today, I think. <sighs> Give me one sec. I have to go back to the cringe dimension. You're not going to believe this. Give me a sec. Oh, good? Yeah. Yep, yep. You're looking like the other version. Cool. Yeah, um, turns out there's an entire marathon of the Akira Toriyama stuff over there. Over there, he was a Dragon Ball wasn't shonen. It was slice of life. Three, two, one. See you around, Gordy. Bye. Well, I'm getting better at that. I am cringe and I am here. So, 
This place is truly what it's supposed to be. Me get so lair. Maybe I'll help you with something. I don't know. But in the meantime, I have to want a little bit more. Get some more stuff done. Ah, what a day, man. What a day. Cringe Dimension is definitely weird. Wonder where Cringe Moon is. The Akira Toriyama special thing. It should be on soon, maybe? I don't know. Awful week it's been. Well, either way, Moon, I'm incoming. All right. <laughs>